In this video, we will take a look at collision handling. First, let's see what a collision is. When we have two keys, say key 1 and key 2, and key 1 is not equal to key 2, and if key 1 is not equal to key 2, and we have a situation where the hash code of key 1 is equal to key 2, we call this situation is equal to hash code of key 2, we call this situation a collision. So, for two distinct different keys, if we attain the same hash value, this is known as a collision. Now, there are many ways to handle collisions, but in this video, we are going to talk about separate chaining. So, in this method, what we are going to do is, if two keys hash to the same hash value, then in the bucket array, for that particular hash value index, we will create a linked list. So, let's take an example to explain. So, let's say in my example, my keys are going to be 100, 105, 200, 205. I'm going to say that my hash function h of k is going to equal to k mod 10. So 100 will map to 100 mod 10 which is equal to 0. 105 will map to 105 mod 10 equal to 5. 200 will map to 0. 205 will map to 5. So now how are we going to add this to our bucket array? So since our range or capital N is going to be 10, we are going to have a bucket array of elements ranging from 0 to 9. So this is going to be our bucket array. So let's take the first key. 100 mod 10. 100 mod 10 is equal to 0. So which index will it be filled in? It's going to be filled in index 0. So at index 0, I'm going to start a linked list with my key 100. Let's go to 105. 105 mod 10 is equal to 5. So I'm going to go to index 5. At this index, I will start a linked list with my value 105. Then I'll go to 200. 200 mod 10 is equal to 0. I'll go to the 0th index and add it to the linked list. I will add it to the end of the linked list. So, I'm adding it after 100. Now I will have 205. 205 mod 10 is equal to 5. So, I will go to index 5 and add it to the end of the linked list present at index 5. This is how separate chaining works. So, there are always two functions we will need for a hash table. The first is the insert operation. And the second will be how to search for an element in such a hash bucket array. So first let's look at the algorithm to insert the element. This algorithm is fairly simple. If I say insert and I have an algorithm say insert item and I have the key element pair which I want to insert. So I will go to the index which is equal to the key so I'm going to say array of key. So I will go to that index. Then at that index, that index will have a linked list because this is going to be an array of linked lists. So to this linked list, I'm going to insert at the end the key element pair. So this tuple I want to add to the end of the linked list at array of key. 
this is all I have to do after this actually implementing the insert end function is part of the linked list function so this is all I have to do and I can close my insert item now what is the second important function for a hash table it is the search function so let's say I want to search for a key element pair so first what is the linked list in which I'll search for the element that linked list will equal to the linked list present in the array of index key so let's call that linked list B so in B I'm going to store array of key B is going to be so B is going to be a linked list so in this linked list I want to search B is going to be the linked list in which we want to search so I'm going to say B dot search for this key element pair and with that we come to the end of our search function this searching is going to be a usual searching in a linked list so these are going to be the two algorithms for separate chaining and this is how separate chaining will work this is one of the methods we handle collisions with